ok allora oggi 26 luglio ci troviamo a Porto Novo di Ancona per un simposio dedicato a un matematico Vigeo raccontaci un po' cos'è questa esperienza di questi giorni e qual è stata la tua relazione dove ho potuto anch'io apprezzare dei momenti in cui hai accennato pure alla questione dell'Endr sì, il simposio è dedicato a Vigier che è stata una presenza critica nella fisica della fine del XX secolo e gli inizi anche del XXI perché è scomparso recentemente. È stato anche chiamato da Einstein perché è andato a lavorare con lui ma ha avuto poi problemi di visto e quindi non è potuto andare negli Stati Uniti ed ha lavorato con il, con il Nobel de Brugli. Bene, questa presenza critica ora cerchiamo di mantenerla viva e studiamo quelle reazioni e quelle teorie che attualmente non vengono accettate facilmente dal mainstream, dalla corrente centrale, ma che forse nel giro di pochi anni diventeranno loro il mainstream. Secondo te avremo gli scienziati italiani che porteranno il lender nel mondo come già è accaduto? negli anni 20 quando abbiamo praticamente fatto conoscere una nuova forma di energia a tutto il mondo? Sai, a me piacciono poco queste divisioni in nazioni, siamo tutti umani e lavoriamo tutti insieme, però se vogliamo parlare d'Italia, ultimamente gli Stati Uniti hanno riconosciuto che l'Italia e il Giappone sono i paesi all'avanguardia nello studio di queste reazioni nucleari a bassa energia. Bene. The guest of this symposium is uh, Mr. Josephson Bryan. Joseph Bryan, today was very interesting to the relation about uh, uh, Professor uh, Pesa. Why? Um, well, uh, it looks like he's been working on very similar lines to me, and um, we, we can perhaps work together on this. It's a question of um, really getting a new, a new science. Um, As I see it, um, we, um, the quantitative method of equations is limited and one needs to add ideas from parallelity and um, semiotics, which is the theory of signs. That's my approach, but it's ended up with um, very similar ideas, like the um, importance of the emergence and, and top-down causation. So there really seems to be something which people are approaching in a number of different directions and um, hopefully this will be the future of physics. Do you think that uh, the physician uh, world can give a contribution to emergency of a human problem, not only physical problems? Um, well, that's not really my field, I, I, I can't say, but um, uh, I think materialism has uh, been bad for society and perhaps some economic theories as well, but I'm not sure if one can entirely blame physics for economic theories, except where physicists take over economics. And uh, what about uh, Leandre? I know that uh, Mr. Celani is uh, your friend and uh, you have an email and, and uh, many contacts. Do you think <laughs> that uh, we arrive uh, at last to uh, can uh, give uh, at the Leandre scientific uh, uh, world uh, a, a word that can give uh, hope to uh, to see application, for example. Oh, uh, low energy nuclear yes. action, you mean? Yes. Uh, well, this has always been the point. Um, those who've looked at the data have um, considered that the phenomenon has definitely been proved. The question is whether it can generate enough energy to be useful, and that gets controversial because it looks as if as soon as people find things which may be useful, they keep quiet because uh, they might be able to benefit financially from it. So uh, there's some uh, evidence that you can produce high energies, but it's um, maybe not totally convincing as yet because um, it hasn't been subjected to the same kind of scrutiny as um, other experiments have been. Okay. Mr. Celani, about LEARN, can you give an answer to my question? Yes, um, for the LEARN started about 20, 27 years before with another name called Fuchin Tokei. Um, there are uh, several scientific progress 
that at low level are fully reproducible. So our effort is to increase the intensity of the efforts. Maybe just for um, uh, putting something very recent we have seen, it's possible to convert directly temperature to current in our system, but there is no theoretical explanation. But this real effect is fully reproducible and uh, just maybe joke, but it's real. In two weeks, we improved factor of 50%, 150% the amount. So just using scientific approach, open minds, but we need a sort of international collaboration. I hope based in Italy. In Italy, we have the only one rich weakness, the fantasy, the productivity, the, the, new, the new idea. And, but now, using uh, uh, internet, we can share our creativity with uh, some of the most creative people in the world, like uh, <laughs> my friend Brian. His, his idea of mind matter unification is really revolutionary and at low cost. We don't have to pay for a large hadron collider, uh, 20 billion of dollars or something, just to have some weak signal. We have to use our brain. We, we have fantasy and we can, can cross-check our mistakes in a way, usual mistakes, but at the low cost. So I think a new institution starting from Italy is the country of a fantasy. We are, everybody appreciates our fashion, our food, and our science. We are Galileo, but there are other new modern Galileo like <laughs> Brian. <laughs> really, he's, he's a really special man. Special man. Yeah. And I think uh, we have to develop, to, to find a new institution, a new low cost. But I think uh, yeah. your opinion is very important. Um, yeah, sure. I think it will be good if we can have a theory, but it may not be essential. Um, I mean, superconductors could have been used, um, and probably were used before we understood how they worked. Um, I'd like to make a comment on the politics. It's very unfortunate what happened at the beginning because um, people, uh, ha uh, people had problems reproducing the effect and uh, high energy people seem to assume that everything should be perfectly reproducible, which isn't the case. So for a long time it suffered from being called things like the fiasco of the century. Yeah. But now I think things are changing and um, even in, in the UK that hasn't been very much in the forefront, but even in the UK I think there's new um, thinking coming out relative to the uh, utility of it and um, uh, I, I think um, everywhere people are sort of um, behind the uh, scenes uh, looking into it. They can't really speak out very clearly but um, things are happening. Excuse me. Mr. Albertini, in your world I don't uh I don't hear the, the word uh, transmutation. Why? Transmutation uh, is a term which, uh, which is used uh, maybe in, uh, in the known physics. While we are creating uh, new physics and so we try to use uh, new words. For instance, uh, we have a reaction which goes in the, in the opposite direction or with respect to the one which I already known, like fusion fission, while we go in the opposite way and so we use also different name. Okay. Mr. Josephson, how do you imagine the, the way to transport men and women uh, with the new technology. Do you have a fantasy and imagination how it's possible uh, to apply uh, the, the, new, the new discoveries? I don't know. For example, uh, the use of deuterium from the, the sea or other uh, 
uh, other way. I uh, don't really understand. 